Chef Pilar Valdez. And she's here with a delicious meal for your family that only takes seven minutes to make. And to prove it to you, we've got a timer set and we're gonna start the minute and I'm gonna say right now. Pilar, what are we making today? Okay, so we all have our go-to easy dinners, right? We have our stir fries, our egg dishes, our sandwiches, those are great options, but sometimes you wanna zhuzh things up a little bit. So today we are making um, steamed mussels in a butter and Dijon mustard sauce. It's like restaurant quality, but only in seven minutes, as you all say. I love restaurant quality in seven minutes. So the first thing that we have in the pan over here is some olive oil and butter, and that's nice and hot and melted. And you're gonna throw in some chopped garlic and shallots, and that's gonna be the base of your sauce. You're gonna give that a good saute. You want a medium to high heat, because again, seven minutes, here we go. Season that, a little salt and pepper. That's a little salt. Salt. Pepper. Yeah. I love that. So that's gonna go, and then you're gonna mix your white wine, Dijon mustard. How easy is that? Give that a little good whisk. I love a whisk. Mini whisk at that, and you're gonna pour it into the pan. So what's gonna happen there, as soon as you pour it into the pan, it's gonna infuse with the garlic and shallots, and it's gonna stop the cooking, so it's not gonna burn. That's gonna come up to a boil, Drew. I would throw the lid on there so it goes faster. And while we're waiting for that to come up to boil, can you throw actually the bread in the toaster oven real I sure quick? can. Now, Thank I you. love the way people cut bread because it makes a huge difference in the pleasure and interaction of the sandwich. Am I gonna cut it this way, like flat and open? You or do can. you wanna cut I it would in keep, pieces? You could do that. I'm also like a throw it in the oven and then tear it so it's nice and crusty. Also <laughs> save some time. I think if you do it on L1, Drew, that's gonna be fine. So my sauce over here is coming up to a boil and I'm gonna throw in those mussels, Drew, okay? Because these are gonna take maybe three to five minutes to cook fully and you know the <laughs> mussels are steamed when they fully open. So Drew, we're gonna throw in your mussels I'm ready. and color, cover it. Give that a good shake around and then pop the cover on. And they're gonna steam for about three to five minutes. So while they're steaming, your bread is toasting and let's chat mussels. Cause I think a lot of home chefs get a little intimidated about using mussels. And I really don't think people should be because they're incredibly simple to use and cook. I can't believe I'm actually seeing you chop herbs. I know, so I'm you know. so excited. This is probably like the one dish where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna bring my knife to the party. Pilar usually uh, tears her herbs by hand and feels very sacred about not damaging thy herb with too much knife work. It's so true. Um, so quick note about the mussels. Really not intimidating, great product to use, great source of protein, nutrients, and they're actually one of the top choices in terms of sustainability and affordability. Mm. So definitely keep that in mind. You wanna make sure right before you use them, you give them a good rinse. And sometimes the mussels will come with a little beard, which is these uh, like tendril-like things, and you're just gonna pull those off really easily. Okay. And I feel like for shopping for mussels, the most critical thing, you want them to smell like really fresh and clean, like they were just kissed by the ocean. So just a little bit of saltiness. And if any of the mussel shells are cracked, you definitely wanna discard those. Don't deal with those. Actually, can I get a time check? Because my mussels are feeling pretty open and cooked over here. So every time we say mussels, I think people just need to. I also think my mussels are feeling a little flabby, actually. <laughs> So, um, how are your muscles doing over there? Because mine are open. Ooh. I mean, mine are open and perfect. And I'm gonna give that probably another 30 seconds. Yeah, me too. Um, until all the muscles are fully open. You don't wanna deal with any of the muscles that remain closed or are cracked. So just discard those. Those would be not Not great to, to eat. eat. Absolutely. So that was 30 seconds. Drew, do you wanna grab your bread? It all smells very good right now. <laughs> Beautiful. We just need more space. <laughs> Here, that's what I'm gonna do. Here, let me move Perfect. that. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Yum, 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 yum. And then the final thing to do with these muscles, actually, look at that. Mine are Beauty. perfect. They're perfect. A few more grounds. Any salt? No more salt. So the muscles will have like an inherent salinity, so they give off this sweetness inherent and saltiness. Salinity. Inherent salinity. A few grinds of black pepper, and then a little bit of the freshly chopped parsley. And you can actually serve straight from the pot like this, or shimmy it into your serving bowl. Look Shimmying. at all that beautiful sauce. Shimmying. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you, I've always wanted to make a dish like this, huh? and you just made More it parsley. seem all possible. Crusty bread. Mm. Um, yeah. huh? <laughs> so mm. good. You have to serve it with the bread because that sauce is just like oh my God. so delicious. Lara. <laughs> You're amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Go to the DrewBarrymoreShow.com for the full recipe. I love this dish and I love you.